Hi, I'm Tim McCurcher with BRP Sea-Doo, and we're here at the Miami International Boat Show 2010. You may have heard about braking system on a personal watercraft, and we're going to explain how the Sea-Doo IBR, or Intelligent Brake and Reverse System, actually works. So now with the fly-by-wire system, we are able to get rid of the large reverse handle and actually integrate it into the handlebar. So it's very similar to a snowmobile or a bicycle or a lot of different vehicles have the brake lever on the handlebars. Just simply pulling in the lever overrides any throttle input. So it overrides the throttle input and then it drops down what essentially is a reverse and brake bucket. You can see the reverse bucket underneath. That's nothing new. See, you invented that in 1990. What is new is this large aluminum gate behind that. And when it's fully depressed, it drops down below the hull about two inches and kind of acts as a reverse spoiler, kind of like a parachute in the water. So it really grabs a lot of water, creating a lot of drag, but it pulls the watercraft from the back. So the rider's in total control and it brings the watercraft to a stop in about half the distance of a watercraft without the system. One of the unique features of the IBR system is it starts in neutral. That's a new feature. Traditionally, watercraft have always started in forward. So now again, the rider has more control by starting in neutral. And it's super easy to go to forward, neutral, and reverse with the handlebar mounted system. So you, to go in reverse, you simply pull the lever all the way in, to be in neutral, you let it go, and then to go in forward, you simply tap the throttle lever, and away you go. One of the other innovative features that BRP c introduced in 2009 is the Intelligent Suspension System. It's the first full rider suspension system designed to give the rider the smoothest ride possible in all water conditions. At the heart of the system is a Fox Gas shock and a spring utilizing a spring arm on the rear end of the watercraft so the entire riding environment is suspended. It's got a full six inches of travel to really suck up some of those hard impacts. Now the intelligent part of the system is operated by a computer. The computer is constantly measuring the travel of the top deck to give the smoothest ride possible, adjusting it a hundred times a second to really give it a dampening effect whether it's choppy water or flat water. So that's the heart of the intelligent suspension system.